Hey, what's up you guys? Um, I literally just like recorded this and it's it was kind of like this where I was just explaining things. So this is going to be like a sit down but stand up video where I just talk about feelings and stuff like that. Um, what I was talking before about in the other recording before it kind of like stopped and whatever was I'm depressed. I am, I can strongly say that. And <clears throat> with depression, hand in hand, is anxiety. And I got depressed two years, no, a year before I graduated, which I am right there. If any of you like wanted to know, I am right there. That's me. And if I find a photo, I'll put it right here. And if not, then, yeah. But, no, I am depressed, and I can openly say that because I've been officially diagnosed, and I trust my doctor and stuff like that. So, I am depressed, and this is going to be my story on how it's gotten to this to, t to today. Don't worry, nothing bad is going to happen in this video. Like, I'm not committing suicide or anything like that. But people do test me a lot lately, like more than I used to get. And I just feel like I need to tell you guys why I'm depressed. So it started one year before I graduated high school when I was in grade 11. Convert that to whatever school or, or wherever you're from. But I was in grade 11 and it started when my old friend said to me that a classmate of mine, classmate of mine that had a heart condition, like a super bad heart condition, had passed away. And this was on my birthday. For anybody that knows it, it was my birthday Monday as recording this. So, happy belated birthday to me. Thank you. I'm 21 now. Um, if you guys want to say happy birthday to me or anything, my thing will be right here. Twelfth being nineteen, um, but yeah, she was like, "Oh, by the way, our classmate, we're gonna call her Sam. We're gonna call her Sam just for obvious reasons." But Sam had passed away on my birthday when I was in grade eleven, and I was like, "Oh, snap!" Like I didn't think anything of it. It was my birthday. I was gonna be happy because it was my birthday. And I didn't think anything of it, to be honest with you. I was like, okay, that's sad, whatever. It didn't hit me until a couple days after my birthday. My school announced it. They are like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Sam had a heart condition. She has passed away now. And it didn't hit me until then. And then I started to walk home. I was listening to I When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. If you haven't heard that song, it's amazing. Um, but I was listening to that, and I was literally not even two minutes away from my house, and I started crying. I walked into my bedroom, I sat down, and I cried. I went on Xbox, yes, I'm a gamer. I went on Xbox because I thought that my Xbox friends and the people I talked to online were a lot easier to help me cope with it, but it turns out a person that I had jumped into an Xbox Live party with his brother, he had buried his brother that day too. We're gonna call him Barry. Barry had buried his brother that morn that morning. That was a tongue twister. But Barry had buried his brother that morning and I hopped into the party and I was like, oh crap. So I took it upon myself and I left. And that is a whole new other story. If you wanna hear that, Say, tell us the Xbox Live depression story down there, and I will. Um, but that was that. It, my depression got to the point where thought about England or even talking about England got me in tears. Like, it properly got me in tears. And it's not so bad now. Well, I mean, kind of is. But it wasn't, it was super bad then, and it's not as bad as it could be now. But it kind of lowered down. I 
right before, up until right before graduation. <laughs> if you guys don't know, my biological parents are split up, like they don't live together, and my stepdad's mom was like a grandma to me, and her and I were super close. In my eyes, she felt like the only one that didn't compare me to what my parents were. I'm not going to get into that story since that story does not need to be publicized, but she had passed away two years, or no, two months and two days before graduation. Her name was Helen. I have a thing on my mirror. I'll show you. See, it says RIP Helen, April 26, 2014. Love you always. That's me. But it didn't properly, it hit me then, but when she actually died is when we put her in the ground and I did not last two seconds. <sighs> this is a little bit emotional for me, but I did not last two seconds and it hurt. It really hurt. It did hurt. And she's been gone three years. My grandmother, my great grandmother, and my great uncle on my stepdad's side passed away in April, but at the beginning of the month instead of at the end. So April is an extremely, extremely touchy month for me. I'm still trying to get over it. Like, I mean, it's not bad, 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 but it's still pretty bad. Um, there's a video that I watch every April because it just helps me cry called That Dragon Cancer, I think. I'll put it right here. And it's <coughs> a video of a little boy who has cancer and then ends up passing away in the end. And Jacksepticeye did it, which, peace one love. I love him so much. Um, he has a specific part in that video that he talks about his grandmother and I completely understand like my grandmother and his grandmother w didn't have near the same issue my grandmother died peacefully well in long term and his grandmother died in the hospital like yes there's like that hospital connection but like they're two different illnesses completely but at that part in time where he starts to talk about his grandmother and he's walking through this hallway full of cards. He's just remembering on how hard it was for him. And that's when I start to break down. And, oh, it's so sad. Because he words it so perfectly. I don't know how, but he does. And, yeah. So, I mean, April's still extremely touchy for me. Thank God. I have music, Sean, and, oh, my guitar. Yeah, you guys know I play guitar. I was gonna be like, oh, by the way, I play guitar. But you guys already knew that. So, um, yeah. And obviously, with depression comes alongside anxiety. I got my depression before I got my anxiety, and it was probably about a year, no, maybe six months, in between the times I got my depression for my anxiety and it's gotten a lot heavier if you can tell my breathing is completely off because I'm talking way too fast and I just really want to get this video video filmed so I can edit it and upload it but yeah um, it's still pretty hard I take gravel no I take gravel. It's like uh, motion sickness. It's really good for traveling, but I find it's amazing for my anxiety because it just calms me down. And I also have this oil, <laughs> an oil that's a juniper oil, and the scent of it's just like soothing. It's sort of like um, the velvet. No, I can't remember the scent. Of it. But it's like. A velvet or something like that if I remember I'll put it right here but it's super nice and calming and a bunch of that stuff like that so that's how I cope with my anxiety and depression like I take stuff like I need help sleeping so I take melatonin it's completely natural I'd highly recommend it um 
You can get it in any drugstore. This is not a brand deal, not sponsored. But hey, I'm giving you guys my recommendations. Um, from last week's video, to end this video on a more higher note, yes, I still have loads of candy. Well, not loads. I've eaten a good majority of it. But I didn't eat it all at once. I ate it like, I got it three weeks ago and I still have some left. So, I mean, it's almost been a month since I got the package, so, yeah. Um, updates. My upload schedule, I want to have like every Monday, if not Monday or Sunday. I'll let you guys decide in the description below. Or I'll even put a poll in the community section of the channel so you guys can go and vote. Is it Monday or Sunday? Doesn't matter. I'll film whenever you guys want so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, that was this week's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please, please, please smash that thumbs up button as it truly does help. Um, and if you have any comments from down there, questions from down there, I'll respond to any of your comments. Um, but yeah, peace out and I hope you have a good one.